and through words. But my question is actually to Karnesh and to Anvita. Uh, Karnesh, you can start. I loved Bulbul, I can't wait to see Kala. Um, what are those sensibilities that are common between the two of you that you gravitate towards each other to work again? So I'd like you to, you to start, Karnesh, and maybe then Anvita can take over. I think uh, just the desire and the hunger to tell different stories every time. Uh, I think Anvita has done that with Bulbul. It was a, a story which was presented and narrated very differently, and so is Kala. Uh, I think it's unique in its way, her language, filmmaking language, and that kind of, you know, uh, makes us collaborate every time and uh, you know i was just we was, we just keep joking that she's got about nine to ten films ready to un you know unleash so <laughs> we are always unsure which one to go for next <laughs> so that's the biggest challenge working with anvita which one to go next but i think the desire uh, of her to tell stories is shows on screen and for us it is the same desire, so you know it's it's a natural fit for us. Or is it Netflix par. Okay, uh, who's next, sir? Uh, who, can we pass on the microphone to the gentleman here uh, in the blue and yellow sweatshirt, please? Uh, then we'll come to this side. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Congratulations to the team. This is Raj from Sansandwani, and I look to ask Kala. Uh, what, what preparations you have made for this role and how was the bonding with your co-actors in this film? Um, preparation ki jahan tak baat kare, um, Anvita and Mera ek abhi humne formula crack kar liya hai. Jaha pe, uh, we build the character from the age of five, which is what we did for our first film, Bulbul, and we followed the same process here. And uh, we build the, the backstory from uh, the age of five, up to the age that is there in the script so that I know everything about the character, so that I know the character that I'm playing as well as I know myself. And I think that is very, very important. It really helps me understand my characters better. Um, and since I'm playing a singer in the film, um, she was kind enough to take me to Goa with everybody sitting here. And uh, we were there for two days. Um, I, I got an opportunity to see how music is created. I got to see Amit Trivedi create magic in that room in just a span of two days. And all of them, um, you know, I could, <laughs> I was a witness to um, a scene where all of them were sitting and writing their songs. And it was just, it was so beautiful because you hardly get to see something like this where, uh, where contemporaries are sitting and, you know, laughing about um, cracking jokes and, um, you know, working, helping each other out. It is, it was a rare sight and there was so much for me to absorb. Um, I also um, observed Srisha a lot while she was recording in the studio and I remember uh, when me and Anvita went into the studio for the first time, we had tears in our eyes when we heard her sing the, the first time. Um, and it was a beautiful, beautiful experience. Um tak bonding ki baat kare, <laughs> no, it was uh, very special to work with everybody, um, Babel, Swastika ma'am, Amit sir, Swanan sir, Varun sir. It was, um, there was, we were just like a family working together. It was a experience with everyone. Hi. Yeah. Over here? Yeah. Right up. Do you, yeah, over here. Anvita, uh, can you take us back to your early discussions? Uh, Sorry, yeah, three logo had the mic. Sorry, Mike, you are the Sorry, I apologize. Hanji, please. Anvita, can you take us back to the time when you and Amit started working on the music of this film and uh, something that pays tribute to that golden era of both uh, Hindi cinema music and Indian classical music must also match up, you know, to the quality of that sound. So, what were the early discussions like and what was the direction you took for this album? So, actually, I spoke to Trivedi, um, many years ago, in 2013, when I wrote the first draft of Kala, and I told him that I have a story and Trivedi has songs in it. So if I ever become a director, do you do And he said, yes, Anvita ji, I'll do it. So that's how it started, so many years later. 
I came back to him and I said, Trividi, yaad hai tune kaha tha. You said you'll do it. So he said, yes, I'll do it. Then I, he actually just said yes. And uh, basically that only, I took him through the film, to the script. What Trivedi does is, which is very beautiful, is that he's not creating an album. He tells stories through his music. And so music is such an inherent part of Kala. What he did was he created music for the world of Kala. So it's not like we are trying to do a period. It's the world of Kala. The world of Kala, the thoughts of Kala, the heart, the heart, the heart, the heart, the heart. He was just following that. So it's got a familiar instrumentation of that time, but they are new, unique, beautiful songs because they only belong to Kala and her world. So I think that is what the process is. I mean, can you expand? Like, I always say that I always get inspired by filmmakers. My inspiration comes from there. And when the first, as Kripti mentioned, we were in Goa, you know, all together jamming. So first day, she gave a narration and I, she took me into the world of Kala, which was so beautiful, so unique. And I want to tell this that Anvita, that like it's, she's, she's a, it's a second film, it's a two film down. And she has a voice of her own. I, because you can say it's, no, it, it sounds and looks like, looks like no, no, no one else's film. It sounds and looks like Anvita's film. It's Anvita, it's, she's got a very special voice. So then she narrated the film, the whole story, the whole world, it, you know, it plays in, you, with, uh, in your head. And you kind of start thinking about it. it and I actually slept over it. And I was thinking about it, I thinking about her character, his character, the whole world. And since music is the backdrop and music, because she's a singer, he's a singer, it's about the stories about the singers. So uh, first time, first day I was petrified. I was nervous because I didn't know how to handle this subject and this era, because as you correctly mentioned that you need to do justice to this because you are touching some classic and 40s era, you need to, you better be good. So first day I was gen genuinely very, very nervous and very, very nervous. So I didn't do much. We actually heard the story, then we partied. As usual, we had fun. We went out, <laughs> did our thing, slept over. I was not because it was just playing on my head. And next morning, of course, you have to do a self-talk and you know, and push yourself, encourage yourself, come on, you can do it, you can do this. And then one by one, slowly and gradually, I entered into this world, this beautiful world. And then in two, three days, it was all done. Like, we didn't even know. Four days, my puri album ho gayi thi, ah, days. It was all done. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yes, uh, hi, uh, this is Mandana from Film India. Uh, congratulations for the trailer, it's very nice. I wanted to know, ma'am, uh, you have created an era which is in 40s and 50s. So how difficult was it for you, any challenging, and what inspired you to write uh, this story, and how did you uh, come out with this? How, what inspired you? So actually, I really, really wanted to, uh, you know, tell a story about a mother and a daughter. And uh, mentioning mothers, I'm really missing Swastika, who's actually playing Urmila, Kala's mother. She unfortunately couldn't be here. She's amazing in the film. So this was the story of the mother and daughter, and it was with me for a long time, and I wanted to put it down. So the fact that it is period, when the story came, when I was sitting in the coffee, and the story came to me slowly, that belonged to me in that year. I didn't force it there, I didn't plan it like that. But it belonged to me in that year. So that's where it came from. I didn't force it there, I didn't plan it like that. But it belonged to that. So that's where it came from. How I created it, uh, I think uh, I'm very clever. I rode on the shoulders of giants. I have this incredible DOP called Siddharth Devan. Okay, wo, wo pata nahi kaha se uska wo dimag aur wo talent hai. Usko meri sari baate samaj a jati hai, which I think is by itself a talent. So he just creates, he paints with light, you know. So there's him, there's Meena Lagarwal, my uh, production designer, who takes, hamari baate hoti hai about you know, you know, Devan and I will talk about Dutch Golden Age and Art Nouveau, and it's like Meenal just spins magic out of just conversations. So, the world building, and in that, she is standing with her performance. 
and then she's draped in magic again by Veera Kapoor, who again takes all of this information and matlab it's really I'm just standing over there thinking, my God, I'm so lucky because I was just thinking that they did it. So it's all these people come together, we make the film, then an editor steps in and he cuts it just right so that it sings. So for me, I didn't do it alone. There were some 150 people from the music department, my producer, the OTT, every, the set dressing boy, the light men, so many people, they made this picture. I just thought. I want to ask Anvita. Hi. Hi. Uh, so you have written quite a few uh, Hindi movies, dialogues, and uh, lyricist, as a lyricist, and there have been quite a few bo uh, like Bollywood mainstream commercial films. But then you seem to be drawn at uh, these dark fairy tales. And you told me last time, you know, Bulbul ke time, ki, there are a lot of childhood memories that you go back to. So what about this film? And also I like to ask Babil, like how is he charting his journey? Uh, like Anvita and then uh, Babil. So those I wrote for other people. Yes. So they think that way. But I'm a I, as a commission writer, I do my best, try to do my best to serve their vision. Uh, these are the stories that speak to me. So. Uh, so, however fantastical the world might be, I fantasy a lot of science fiction or fantasy. That's my uh, genre of choice. But when uh, stories come to my mind, I like to tell these kind of stories because they're actually stories about um, universal truths and feelings and emotions, which we can identify kar sakte hai, but they come wrapped with, with claws and teeth. Here. Hello, ma'am. Your name, sorry. Yeah, your name, your name. Seema ji. Seema, hi. Hi, Seema. Nice to meet you. Um, I am charting my journey, you asked. I am not, really, because <laughs> we, we have this uh, illusion, you know, that we think we are in control of our journey. We are not.